you're seeing this unexpected token error, it means that you're trying to parse something that isn't JSON as JSON and it's failing. In most cases, it's probably trying to parse HTML as JSON. So let's look at what causes this error and how we can fix it. Right here, I've got two things running side by side. There's a React app that was created with Create React App. And on the left, I have the Express server, which is just a simple server that is supposed to be sending back some passwords. So let me open up the code here. And I have Express server as this index.js file. And it only has one API endpoint. So if you get uh, API passwords, it should send back an array of passwords. And then down here is this catch-all handler, which is normal for any server that's serving a React app and an API. It's just a pass-through. So if you ask for passwords or some sort of API thing, you get this. And if you ask for anything else, you get the index HTML of the React app, and then you know your app will render, and you'll handle everything else client-side. I've got another video on how to set up create React app with Express. If you want to watch that, I'm not going to talk too much about that here. So let's get into what's causing this error though. So I have this API endpoint and then over in the React app, which is under, under the client directory. And when the component mounts, it calls get passwords and get passwords uses fetch to get those passwords. And there's a typo here. So I misspelled password. So if I fix this and save, the error is going to go away. So that's great. But what was causing that in the first place? So if I, if I misspell this thing, or if I hit any API endpoint that doesn't exist, remember Express has this fallback route. So if it doesn't hit this, it hits this one, gets star, returns back an HTML file. So when this tries to parse that HTML as JSON, it's going to fail. We can open up the developer tools. Here's the error we're getting here, and then create React app is mirroring it here. But we can go over to the network tab. We're going to refresh, and it's going to remake that request. So it loads the app, and then it does its get to API slash fail, right? Which is what we're doing over here. If we look to this request and we look over to the response tab, you can see that it's it's an HTML document. It starts with a less than and then some HTML stuff. This is the index HTML from the React app. But the problem is that it starts with a less than. It doesn't start with some sort of JSON character. And that's why we're getting unexpected token less than in JSON at position zero. So this first character is position zero. So in this case, it's an easy fix. All we have to do is call the right API endpoint and then everything will work again. If we hit the API passwords endpoint, we can see that it's actually responding with JSON. And if we hit preview, you can see JSON array here. So another way you can figure out what's coming back is to parse the response as text instead of JSON. So if we change this to text, uh, this is going to blow up because it's not returning an array anymore, but let's comment this line out for right now. And after parsing it as text, take the text and just console log that text. And here, since we're actually getting JSON, we're getting this array of passwords. That's great. But if we made the wrong API call, you're going to see that it prints out the HTML that we got back. So this is a good way to debug what's going on. Also, to go a little deeper here into what this error actually means, we're going to cause it a couple times ourselves in the console. We can run json.parse and we can just pass it any old string like hi, and we'll get unexpected token h in JSON because the first character is an h. We can also say json.parse something like the beginning of an HTML document and we're going to get unexpected token less than. We'll get a similar error anytime we're trying to parse something that isn't valid JSON. This string is almost valid JSON, but no is not a valid keyword. And we get unexpected token O 
because it could have been null. So it was okay with the N, but then when it saw the O, it gave up. So that's how to interpret the unexpected token error. Hopefully it helps. Thanks for watching.